not that you can really see me. I am on my way to work. It's Thursday. I'm exhausted. I've also dyed my hair, which is, oh my, which is great. I'll be giving you guys updates after I get off of work. Colton had to drop Renly off today, so I was able to go get a coffee before work. But Saturday, we're all going to the bar again. And I told them how I had been wanting to vlog at the bar, but I just don't. So I plan on doing that. I'm going to leave my camera in my car because I don't want to bring it in there and it get broken. But I will update you guys more later. Hi, so it's dark as shit in this house. Um, but it's 125. It's a lot later than I thought it was, but I was really, really busy at work. Caitlin is about to come over. And we're gonna do some reading, but I also really need to run to Walmart because I need to go get toilet paper. And then I wanted to go pick up a couple of books. I don't know, I'm, I need to go get some tape as well. So it is 4.30 now. Caitlin just left and went back home. We got a little bit of reading done. I don't know if I told you guys that I was reading A Court of Silver Flames. But that's what I'm currently reading. I am now at chapter 46, so I'm almost there. My parents are coming over for dinner tonight, so Colton has dinner cooking in the crock pot. And oh my gosh, this is so blonde. It's like tripping me out. But yeah, not much happening today. She is coming back over tomorrow. I don't want to go to work today, but I have to. So I just got out of the shower. It is 1.30 in the afternoon. I got off work, ate lunch, picked up Rinley, and then I just got out of the shower. Now I need to get dressed and everything because Caitlin's about to be on her way. So I just wanted to shower really quick because I felt absolutely disgusting. I'm going to put some clothes on. hoping Rinley will take a nap. Hoping. Why does it never want to focus? Yes, there we go. So I'm hoping she'll take a nap really quick and then we're just gonna sit here and read. I put purple shampoo on my hair, but it doesn't seem like it did Hi any. guys, so it is Saturday, currently nine o'clock in the morning. I've been up for a little bit because Renly woke me up. I wanted to do a quick book haul. I've accumulated a lot of books since the last book haul that I did, so I don't know exactly which ones that I've gotten since I've been away, but I'm going to go ahead and show you guys like the recent ones that I've gotten. The first recent one that I've got, Love on the Brain, because Caitlin told me I should read this and that it's really, really good, but I also have Love Hi the Love Hypothesis up there that I want to read first before I read this one. I also got Good Girl, Bad Blood by Holly Jackson. I did read A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. So I got the second one because I actually really, really enjoyed the first one. I also got Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover. I've been in a Colleen Hoover kick recently. I've only read one of her books and it's one that I actually bought recently and that was Verity. I absolutely devoured this book. It was a mind F-bomb. Like bought Layla so I got those around the same time so I have this one as well it's the dating playbook I found this at books a million it was in the bargain section so a lot of these like cute little romance books are very hot right now and I was like I want to try it and see if it's any good so I bought this and I also bought the second book of the Crescent City series I still haven't read the first one but I went ahead and bought the second one it's also a Books A Million exclusive edition. There's an extra bonus chapter in here. And then, because I've seen it all over TikTok recently and everyone is like raving about it, I bought A Court of the Vampire Queen by Katie Roberts. Very excited about it. Caitlin is actually reading it right now and she said like there's sex in like every single chapter. So it's a pretty fast read. And I also bought the first two Throne of Glass books because I'm not gonna lie, I loved the A Court of Thrones and Roses series. I'm currently reading, which I told you guys, I'm reading Silver Flames, so I really wanna try her other series. Um, 
I did buy these two. I bought You Will Be Mine by Natasha Preston Legend. Um, I heard a lot of people say that this was a very good fast read and that it was super action packed and just so so good and that you should just read it. So I got it. I don't know when I'll get to it but that is my book haul. Alton is about to be on his way home because he went to go do a few things this morning. But Caitlin will be over later after she gets off of work. We're going to get ready together to go to the bar. I will probably vlog on my phone. I don't know if I want to bring my camera or not. Oh, I forgot about this one. Um, I also bought Innocent Until His Forbidden Touch. It's a Harley Quinn book. That's pretty much it for right now. So I will update you guys later. Yeah. Okay, so my Ipsy bag for October just came in the mail and I want to do a quick haul because I'm very, very excited about it and I haven't done an Ipsy haul on this channel yet. There's hair on my camera. First thing we got is this cute, not cute, this Dermal Actives body scrub. So it looks like that. It is jojoba and lavender. And it smells so delicious. I also got this rollerball perfume. It's Wake Heart Sunlit Sensation. But I guess it kind of busted in the mail. And the label kind of rubbed off. So I got my refresher razor heads. also got this Estate Fall Edition eyeshadow palette. Which is stunning. It's beautiful. Perfect neutrals. I love my neutrals. I have a ton of neutral eyeshadow palettes so love that this earth harbor sunshine dew antioxidants cleansing oil i'm really excited about this because i've never used a cleansing oil before but she's super cute excited to try her up we have two fenty beauty products that i'm super excited to try so this is the fenty beauty gloss balm heat in the color hot cherry it looks absolutely stunning. I've never tried any Fenty products before, so I'm really excited to try these. I also got the Fenty Beauty Stunna Lip Paint. Um, it's in the color Uncensored, which is like, I'm pretty sure the iconic, like, red. It's a long wear fluid lip color. Is it matte? Very excited about all of these products. I'm ready to try them all. So yeah, that's what I got in my October Ipsy bag, so. So it is Sunday. It's like 11 ish. So Arthur and Caitlin are coming over today, and we're gonna have a little like scary movie day with them because it's gloomy, it's rainy, and just a whole vibe. Cooking some food, setting stuff up, and then um, we're gonna watch The Conjuring 2. So very excited about it. Then Renly is taking her morning nap. So. We're wearing comfy clothes today. Show okay, you guys what we have set up so far. We have some candles lit. And then I took the LED color changing light from our room. Some pumpkins set up. TV. I have our cups for hot chocolate. We have these little pumpkin cookie things. Some candy. And then this is the pasta we're making. Colton made meat dip so he's going to warm that up. And then some red lobster biscuits and then he's cooking ribs in the oven Hi. <laughs> little hot chocolate cups are all set up but yeah hopefully
hopefully it'll be fun hopefully <laughs> Okay, so I did some more setting up. I'm also washing blankets right now. I did this cute little setup. We have some white cheddar Cheez-Its, some chocolate covered pretzels, and then like these pumpkin cream cheese cookie things. Um, so far that's the setup for now. And then I put the hot chocolate over here. I'm just gonna brew a hot pot of water so that way we don't have to keep using the K-cup part. Hi guys, so um, I realized that this vlog doesn't have a whole lot of footage and I decided to just do another a two weeks in my life, I guess. It's not really going to be weeks, but uh, I don't know. This is just a random vlog, I guess. We're going to take Renly and go to the pumpkin patch and then we're going to his grandparents to go carve pumpkins and then we're going to the bar again tonight. Good morning. Hello. Hello, precious. Hi. <laughs> She's already almost six months. She'll be six months in November. I'm not prepared. It's 